I want to keep people up to date with how we're working in projects and I'm going to show you three ways within a Microsoft Loot workspace to journal and keep a track of your activities, sharing them so that you can keep your team members in the loop. I've got a project here called Project Radio, it's all about delivering an intranet and a modern workplace and uh, we are going to be building a communication site. Um, now just to give you a quick view of the brief for that, it's for the communications team, we're just working on a team and a site for them, we've got some background, we've got the brief, we've got various different ideas. And when we get to work on these tasks, um, where are we going to keep our activity up to date? Well, here's a journaling method. First method is perhaps this whole workspace is all about activity around the, uh, the delivery of this project. You might have a journaling section. So I have a page here where I have uh, pulled together different free text journal entries. Uh, we're grouping them together on a page month by month. And so uh, we've got content there. Now, it's as simple as, um, let's create a new entry, forward slash date. So we're adding the date block or component. And it will zero in on today to start with. So it's as simple as hitting enter and we've got today. And it's a relative date, so it shows today. Um, perhaps we will use a forward slash and checklist as a way of adding items to the plan for our day. So it could be that we're going to speak with Tori about changes to page. And as we work our way through that list, then we could check those items off. Now, what does Laura see? Well, Laura is already on the page, so let's uh, go over and see what she is looking at. Okay, here is uh, my content that I've added to this page. She can click in and see, oh yes, it was Daryl that entered that, uh, and perhaps she has uh, some things to say about that, some commentary, some advice and ideas. She could use the comments feature on this block and say, at Daryl, um, Remember to cover this thing, whatever that thing is. And that becomes a back and forth as I could also, you know, see, okay, that's a comment for me. I've got the notification for that too. I can res reply to that. Very simple. Journal entries. Uh, we can scroll down the page and see that for this month, for example, uh, that this method changed a bit over time. Uh, we, you know, uh, use checklists and group things together. But this is content across the whole project. And maybe I'm more interested in uh, a, a granular view, perhaps to, to see what is happening with a specific deliverable. Uh, and it's not so easy to track on a journal page like this. So let's have a look at the deliverable. Uh, we'll go down to the communications team. We had a look at this briefing page earlier, uh, and the idea I like with this with my projects is that it brings everything together on the same page. What are we doing for this? What is the brief? What are some of the ideas? This is just a voting table. A few steps about what we plan to do in terms of build, and here's the example about our free text changes, the way that we might journal for this specific task or deliverable. So now it is all about content to do with that deliverable. It is the same, you know, things that we covered off yesterday and, and uh, last week uh, and some of those activities and we've just, uh, you know, sliced them through or checked them off in the list as we've gone. Um, so Laura can see that as well, of course, uh, and it's the same kind of experience. But this third method I want to show you is just a little more organized than that using tables. Let's just uh, collapse the sidebar today and uh, so we can focus on the content on the page. Using a journal table, uh, this allows me to have columns to organize the information. I've got an activity title, so this is just a brief uh, description, I guess, very brief in terms of what this activity is, the activity date, who did it, uh, maybe the build activity. Now, because we uh, can use a details view or a card view for each of the items in this table, check this out. When we go through, we can see and fill these things out as we go. Perhaps we can, uh, you know, keep this card open as we're working on the content and, and adding some notes. We've filled out the various different details. Each of those can have comments 
about the, the content in there uh, and this area for notes. So as I am adding content to this, I might say, yes, created this template, put a bit more of a description than what we would be able to fit tidily in an activity title. And again, you can have that back and forth uh, chatter in terms of commentary based on what has been put there. Furthermore, um, because it is a item in a table, uh, it is very easy to copy a link to that page or that item, I can uh, perhaps go over and uh, have that conversation with Laura. So here we are in the technical delivery, we'll say item to discuss and we'll pop that uh, item right there. So this is just a link to the page, it's not presenting itself as a component, uh, as an embedded component, but it, it, will, it will do uh, as a way of mentioning Laura and saying, can we talk about this? You get the idea. But back to our, back to our card, as we're working through our tasks, uh, it's easy for me to you know, click on through and see the content that's going on there. We've got similar kinds of options about what we can do within the notes field, and uh, it works quite well. Keeping it all together, because it's a table, we've got the ability to change that up to the board view if we wanted to. You can see the type of uh, activities, build, support, meeting. You can slice and dice that the way of it, however you want. If you've got multiple labels, you can have multiple different group by views. So that's helpful. Uh, and also if you wanted to get into filtering and, and just focusing in on perhaps a certain person and the activity. So we could look at team member uh, is and maybe choose Laura and we'll apply that and there's just Laura's activities. So tables give us a lot more flexibility and being able to work with the items uh, as a way of um, recording our journal entries. Uh, so the, the key thing here is that it is simple to use, that it is not something that uh, takes a lot of friction to add our content and to keep our team members up to date. Um, I like the free text option, I like the table option, I very much like being able to put it all together on one page so that we can see for this thing that we are delivering, what, is, what has been happening and what are the related resources and the like. So uh, three methods for using journaling within a loop workspace that is being used to deliver a project. If you like what you saw here or if you've got other ideas and things that you're doing within your team, do leave them in the comments below. And if you like what you're seeing here and you want to learn more about Microsoft 365 and how to use it and adopt it within your team, then you know where to find me right here on this channel. You know what to do. Subscribe, like the video if you really found it useful, and we'll see you again soon. Bye for now.